Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Sorry it's been a while. If you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen on my Insta stories that I've been on holiday. July is always full of sort of summer holidays for me just because it's the only time I can really get to go away. So these are my holiday nails that I did. This is what they looked like before I went away. And then these are what they look like two and a bit weeks later. So pretty much exactly the same, just really, really grown out. So I didn't get a chance to film the actual set on my nails, but loads of you sent me messages asking if I could do a video, especially on the accent nails that I did with these cute little AB unicorn scales. So I'm going to do that today for you on my Glamalier's practice hand. So on the other nails, I did an ombre with a sprinkling of glitter and then a unicorn chrome over the top. So for the ombre nails, I used a pink and an orange. I used the Gel Bottle Ink Barbie and Water Lily, which was number 111. And then to blend those two together, I used my favourite ombre brush and this is from Dixie Plates. For the glitter over the ombre, I use Magpie Beauty Lily. This is 0 0.008 Ultra Fine. It's primarily a golden white, but it does have hints of blue and pink in there as well. And for the Unicorn Chrome, I'm using their Magpie Dust in Shelly. These are the unicorn scales I used. They're from my store and they're iridescent and give off like pinks and purples. And they're so pretty in real life. And because they're diamond shaped, they lay really nicely on the nails. They don't curl up or anything. So I am going to start out with the accent nail. I did build this up. So I started out with just a flat sculpted tip and then built the nail from there on in. I'm just showing you I didn't go all the way to the edge because then you will get pieces sticking out. So just do to where you're comfortable with and remember that you are going to encapsulate these as well. So just looking on the side view, you can see how nice and encapsulated those are and where I've built the apex and everything, it's just really nice and smooth. So as I mentioned, I'm just going to show you on Beyonce, my practice hand, and as I said, I started out with a clear tip. Now you can apply the scales straight onto the clear, but I did do a glitter gel base just to tie everything in and just make it look a bit more glittery in the sunshine. So I just used a really thin layer of tiara, which is from Light Elegance. And it's just a really pretty, iridescent, icy almost um, glitter gel. And the clear hard gel I'm using today is Light Elegance Cool Gel. So here's what I use from start to finish. I like to use Light Elegance Tack and I will show you another way on how to use this later on as well, which is one of my top tips which I think I featured in one of my last videos which I'll link in the corner for you now. So once the tack is cured I then go in with my base. I always use the Gel Bottle Ink Rubber Base just because it's again I say this every time but it is fail safe. I don't get any lifting or anything under my hard gels. And then once that's cured, I am just going to apply a very super thin layer of tiara and then cure that. And yes, I think I need a new gel brush. <laughs> And then once that's cured, we can add the unicorn scales. So I just add a really super thin layer of the clear cool gel and then just stick the scales into the wet layer and cure it afterwards for double the time. So you can do this in any pattern that you want. I try to keep it as a diamond shape so they would all fit nicely together. And the good thing about setting them into wet gel is that you can play around with them until you're happy and then cure them to set them into place.
so once that's cured they're nice and set into place and I can go ahead and encapsulate and sorry this was a little bit out of focus but I just went in with an initial first layer of the cool gel and just let it settle in and around the scales first of all and then went in with my build layer and built up my structure of the nail <music> Then once you've cured that, just check your nail for any lumps and bumps or if you need to add more gel. This was pretty good first time, so that's just ready to have the inhibition layer removed. And I'm not going to really harshly file this, I just actually buffed over with a 180 grit buffer. So that's nice and smooth. And then the last thing for this nail is just your top coat. So onto the ombre nails with the glitter and the chrome. You would have seen me do this probably a hundred times before, but just to, for those that are new to my channel or maybe new to doing gel ombres, I just apply both colours and you can actually use the brush of the gel polish, but I just find it's easier to use a separate brush because I'm pretty good at contaminating my colours. So just using a separate brush is so much easier for me. So I just repeat the steps twice, curing in between. So I've got my glitter catcher tray all ready to go because I like to sprinkle my glitter just to give the maximum effect and sparkliness. You don't need any extra gels for this, I just use um, one thin layer of top coat and then just sprinkle the glitter over the wet gel, tap the excess off and do a double cure. This is what it looks like when it comes out the lamp and I use my magpie duster just to really vigorously sweep off all those excess particles. And then I take my top coat again and apply a really nice generous thick layer. And this is because I'm going to buff this afterwards for the chroming section. So when your top coat's been cured, I do buff it with a 180 grit soft buffer. And the reason for this is because chrome shows up every imperfection. So if you've got any divots or lumps and bumps, the chrome will show it up, unfortunately. So you want it ultra smooth. So apply your favourite chroming top coat and cure for your recommended time. And then with Shelly, I like to use the Magpie chroming tool. It's brilliant. You get a load of replacement heads as well. And I just really just use what's at the side of the jar. You don't need a massive amount. And then in circular motions, just apply this all over the nail. And you can see that if your base is really smooth, you get a really lovely finish. Sweep off the excess particles with a soft, fluffy brush. And then I'm going to mention tack again. This is brilliant for keeping your chrome from peeling or chipping. As you can see on my nails, I don't have any peeling or chipping at all. And that's because I use tack. This is the Light Elegance Bonding Agent. It does need curing, so two minutes in a UV or 30 seconds in an LED. And I'll just show you where I apply this, literally on the tips of the nails and around that cuticle area, and that is it. I cure it in my lamp and then I go in with just one layer of top coat. I don't really believe you need two layers because you're going to make it too thick. One layer is absolutely perfect and they come out perfect and last every single time. So that's my top tip. So I really hope you enjoyed this one guys. Pop over and follow me on Instagram. Sometimes I post sets that I don't put on my YouTube channel. And you can also keep up with when I upload videos, etc. on my Insta stories. So thank you so much for watching, guys. As always, I've really missed you. So it's good to be back. I've got a ton of reviews and new products to show you. So stay tuned for that. 
and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.